somewhere neath your skin Or if your head's just an empty box If your heart has become spare parts If your days are now just something you must bear Iowa, and I would like to introduce you to Safe Place. Safe Place is an application that puts valuable public information about many chemicals in our very own homes at your fingertips. You start out on Safe Place by designating a language. We'll stick with English for now. Next, you can register through your Facebook account or an email address. I'll go ahead and log in since I'm already an existing member. This takes us to the Safe Place home screen. From here, we can go to my cabinet, take a fun quiz, change the settings, either log out or change the language, or we can call the American Association of Poison Control Centers 24-7 hotline in case there has been a chemical exposure. We can also explore the three domains of chemicals included. There's home, yard, and field. Let's check out home first. Here are the different areas near home where you might find chemicals, and some common products of each. We are going to go into the garage, and let's pick out the paint stripper. When we select it, we see the active ingredient and the CAS number for reference. Then we see the items of personal protective equipment that are recommended when handling this compound. Here we can tap on each icon to find out more about it. Working our way down, we can learn more about the potential health effects. Here we see that there is a carcinogenicity warning. When we click on it, we can see it is listed as a confirmed animal carcinogen and a possible human carcinogen. Now let's go to the yard and look at some common yard chemicals. Now we'll click on Roundup. Again, we see the active ingredient and the CS number for reference. We see protective wear and below that acute and chronic health risks. We also see the option of adding this product to our current personal inventory. I actually just bought some Roundup for my garden, so let's go ahead and add it to my current garden cabinet, where it will be saved for a quick reference. Finally, let's check out the field section. Again, we see some types of chemical products. When we pick on Atrix, we can see that the personal protective equipment and health effects are clearly displayed. Now let's jump to the My Cabinet feature. Here we can see the three cabinets that I've created. If I select the My Garden icon, then it will take me to the same list we worked with earlier and we can now see that Roundup has been added. From here, I can again select Roundup to review the information on its use. Going back, I can add new cabinets and delete old ones from this edit page. Now let's head back to the home screen and check out the fun quiz. In the quiz, I can choose my area. Let's pick yard. Now I read the first question. Which of the following are potential short-term or long-term risks that may be associated with exposure to pesticides? Allergies, cancer, nausea, or all of the above? I think it's all of the above, and when I check my answer, I can see that I got that correct. Now let's read the second question. Which mode of entry is responsible for 97% of all exposure during a pesticide application? Does this exposure happen orally, ocularly, dermally, or through inhalation? This one is kind of hard, but I think it's inhalation. Let's check it and see if I got it. So apparently I got that one wrong. Most exposures occur dermally. That one was pretty hard, so I think I'd like to tweet it and share it with some friends. I bet they'd find it useful too. When users finish their quiz, we encourage them to challenge their friends. Through this gamification, we can spread awareness about the dangers that exist in our homes. These products are part of our everyday lives and they help us in ways that we don't often appreciate. However, it is important for us to protect ourselves and our families from the potential long and short term consequences from a lack of awareness of the dangers that are involved. Yeah, tomorrow I might wake up nice and clean And I'm gonna believe the things I said I didn't read It's my turn
Thank you.